I'm here on top of the Liberty Heights building in Manchester city centre, 250 feet high and 75 volunteers today are braving it down the edge for Royal Manchester Children's Hospital charity. I did it yesterday and it is frightening when you're at the top, um, you just have to not look down but once people get down the majority of people are just like this is brilliant. Our target is £40,000 and we set people a minimum sponsorship target of 150 and most people have completely smashed that and all the money raised is going to support our Time Saves Lives helicopter pad appeal um, which is to build a dedicated helipad on site at central manchester hospitals it all started in january when professional abseilers dressed as superheroes scaled down royal manchester children's hospital much to the delight of the young patients in the wards the technicians from canadian company over the edge returned to guide the amateur abseilers our whole mission really is to work with charities and to help raise as much money as we can. Our team came and set up shop and uh, helping people go safely over the edge. They do a bit of a training upsell. So it's just three or four feet. It lets them get comfortable in the harness and our technicians show them all the devices and how they work and then they move to the edge. With rainy conditions and a daunting drop of nearly 250 feet, what moves the participants to such fundraising heroics? My granddaughter has a lot of treatment at uh, the Children's Hospital and uh, I found it a bit of a privilege to be part of it. I'm a porter at the Royal Oldham Hospital and all my fundraising has been done there. All the great staff have all supported it very well. Uh, there must be three, four hundred pounds worth of sponsorship there. My friends that I buy um, is having treatment at the RMCH um, on the Reno ward. He's um, got a kidney disease. So basically, I was going. I've done a lot of stuff for the charity before, but I've decided to do it for him in kind of his name. So, with all abseilers landing safely on the ground, their efforts may soon allow helicopters to do the same at Manchester Central Hospitals. Max Merrill, Keys News.